फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स मेक वन थिंग वेरी क्लियर जी आई एस और गैस इंसुलेटेड स्विच गेयर इज नॉट ए टाइप ऑफ सब स्टेशन इट इज एक्चुअली ए स्विच गेयर टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इज यूज इन ए सब स्टेशन जी आई एस इज ए टाइप ऑफ स्विच गेयर एंड नॉट ए टाइप ऑफ सब स्टेशन टाइप ऑफ सब स्टेशन आर डिफरेंट बट जनरली इफ जी आई एस इज यूज इन ए सब स्टेशन देन मेनी पीपल रेफर इट एज जी आई एस सब स्टेशन इन दिस वीडियो you'll get basic information about what is gas insulated switch gear and to get that you need to watch the video hello everyone and welcome back my name is gaurav j i post videos related to electrical engineering with easiest explanation on this channel so if you are interested in learning electrical engineering in easiest way make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a new video now we know that power stations where the power is generated are generally built far away from its ultimate end user and this is because of many valid reasons for example power stations causes pollution and they must be located near its primary fuel source like coal or water etc in this way the power generating utility can save the cost of fuel transportation and also time hence most of the time power plants are built far away from its ultimate end user now to make this power available to the end consumer we need to transmit it over a long distance and after that we need to distribute it generation happens at a lower voltage level transmission happens at a high and extra high voltage level and then again distribution happens at lower voltage level and substation helps us throughout these phases in lowering and increasing the voltage levels not only this but substation also serves many other purposes if you are interested in knowing other purposes then i have a dedicated video on that i'll provide link for that complete playlist down in the description you can go and check that out after the end of this video now to lower or to increase the voltage level or to disconnect or connect the supply we need different types of switch gear in the substation and gis or gas insulated switch gear is one of the switch gear technology that is used in a substation This technology differs from the available technologies like AIS or air insulated switch gear or hybrid switch gear or which is also known as mixed type technology. As the name suggests in GIS technology all the components are insulated by SF6 gas or any other gas. Insulation within the phase is provided by SF6 gas. Insulation between the phases is also provided by SF6 gas now here we need to understand two important things which is one is insulation within the phase and second is insulation between the phase let's understand that consider example of circuit breaker it has three phases r y and b as shown now the insulation provided in the r phase or any other phase is known as insulation within the phase now insulation between r and y phase or r and b phase or any other two phases is called as insulation between the phases and in gis technology within the phase and between the phase insulation is provided by the sf6 gas only on the other hand in ais technology only insulation within the phase is provided by the sf6 gas and insulation between the phase is air and hence the name air insulated switch gear in gis technology all the switch gear like disconnector and earthing switch circuit breaker current transformer voltage transformer are insulated by sf6 gas not only this even this bus bars are also insulated by the sf6 gas all the switch gears are placed in a metal encapsulated compartments further GIS is subdivided into different modules or zones. For example, circuit breaker will have its own dedicated module. Similarly, voltage transformer will have its own dedicated module. Current transformer and all the other switch gears will have its own separate module. 
bus bar will have its own module as well. Each module will have SF6 gas filled in it and the SF6 gas pressure inside the module can be monitored for each module separately using the dedicated density monitor provided with each module. These different modules are tightly connected together to form a complete gas insulated switchgear. Now this is how it looks from the inside. Since all the switchgears are connected together and insulated with SF6 gas, direct connection of transformer or overhead line is not possible. To allow the connection of transformer and incoming supply, we need to use bushings. It can be oil to SF6 bushings which facilitates the connection between transformer and GIS or it can be an air to SF6 bushing which allows the connection between overhead line and GIS. Bushings are really important in case of GIS. And another important thing is to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any update of such easy to understand and interesting videos. Now since the dielectric properties of SF6 gas are far far better than the air, the GIS technology is very very smaller in size compared to the AIS technology. This technology is safer compared to the AIS technology since everything is insulated by SF6 gas. And hence you will find GIS is installed even at the basement of the buildings. So just to give you one uh, example for comparison, one bay of 145 kV GIS can be fitted into one 10 by 10 room. On the other hand, for one bay of 145 kV AIS, we would need around 10 to 12 such rooms. So you can compare the size requirement of both this technology. Now, is the GIS technology a new technology? Well, the answer is no, it is not. It's been available from more than last 30-40 years now. The GIS technology with SF6 gas is available from 72.5 kV up to 800 kV. This type of technology is preferred where the space limitations are there. For example, if you need to build a substation in a very populated city, GIS would be the best option in such situation. But of course, this technology is very much costly as compared to the AIS technology. And hence, in many cases where land is not an issue, AIS is still the best choice. In India, there are many manufacturers of GIS technology. Like Siemens, we have Hitachi Energy, then General Electric, Crompton Greaves, Toshiba, Schneider Electric, and Hewson. And if you know any other manufacturer, do let us know that via the comment section below. Now let us talk some of the applications of GIS. Now GIS has got a wide variety of application. It can be used in power transmission and distribution, integration of renewable power generation, offshore or onshore wind power connections, industrial application, long range power transmission, and even in power plants. Now, if you're interested in knowing basics about the substation, then you can check out my basic course on substation. I'll provide link for that uh, in the description below. You can check that out for more details. So I hope you learned something new today. Let me know in the comment section below if the video was helpful by commenting yes. Also, like the video, I really appreciate your support on that. So that's all for this video guys, I'll see you in my next one, but till then, keep watching, keep learning.